with the weasel it's all going to be and uh, I have a generator running next uh, outside otherwise we wouldn't have any lights um, but let's go ahead and uh, the weasel is uh, pretty much just skinned uh, straight across and uh, my first weasels were actually quite uh, brown still so I didn't I kind of held off till I had a uh, until I got with these weasels the they're so small that the 120 caught bears pretty much gave them a whole body a body slam a, when they say a body grip they mean it on a weasel Now these were caught in my Martin traps, and uh, but these will be my keepsakes, these white ones. And now that I kind of been seeing where the weasels are running, I'm going to have some fun back in Kansas, I think, and uh, set up a few brooks, uh, uh, streams, some uh, rock walls, things like that. I don't know if our weasels will turn white or not there, but. Uh, We'll, we'll look at it and give it a shot. There is a lot of weasels out there. <laughs> but basically, I'm just going ahead and skin it out this leg. They're all muscle. They're all muscle. I don't believe I've ever skinned anything so small. Got the leg and work that belly down. Just start separating it. Let me go ahead and run it up into the tail. There we go. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself because this is such a small little critter. Just getting my getting my thumb underneath of it. I'll bet. Uh, I, I've seen videos of them. They are for pretty ferocious, really, for their size. Again, working that belly side a little bit. And start working it back to the back. That just pretty much applies whether you're talking coyotes or muskrat or, or anything. Kind of work, get that belly loose a little bit. And uh, start working it toward the back. All right, I don't know how hard this tail is going to be to come out, but we're going to find out. Let me cut a little bit. i got to be careful. I cut too much, this whole tail will come off. There we go. Got the tail out. Got the, uh, now just a matter of, let me cut that belly loose a little bit. I don't know if I'm dealing with a male or a female at this point. Got a little male here. Pull the, the penis out. There we go. And we'll separate that. There we go. And I'm just working my thumbs on down. Before I go any farther, let's go ahead and uh, wring out them front feet. Uh, well, I guess I can do it when I pull them out. I can do that when I pull them out. They're just plumb. They're just, they, these guys are just flat out solid muscle. Not like a coon at all, are they? Let me show it to you a little closer here. But just pulling that old hide and working my working myself on down. Got a little a little bit of fat right there. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because I think just about any one little pull could separate the whole body from itself. So there we go. We got the little legs exposed. Run our fingers in there. There we go, got one. 
Yep, it, it went in and pulled itself out. Probably not the well, that might have been the one I cut. Nope, yeah, they both went. All right, so pulling it down to the head. Got it to the head. Now I'm starting to see the ears starting to show on it. So let's go ahead and cut around that. The smallest critter I ever. Now I'm gonna treat it like the Martin where I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it kind of back. There we go. There's the eyes. Just kind of cutting and pulling. I'm only working around here to this lower lip. There it's starting to separate. We just don't need the lower lip on it. And uh, there we go, just about got her done. Just a couple little hang ups here. Still got a little lower lip here. I think that's all that's holding me on. There we go. We got ourselves a, a weasel hide here. I'll go ahead and uh, find that little board there for it and we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, flesh it out and let it dry. I guarantee in a couple of hours this is going to be dry. So, very good. Okay, guys. Um, I found the, uh, the board to uh, put this guy on. And uh, like anything, I, I know we're going to want to get it centered. I'm going to stand kind of right here just so I can get it centered. Now I tell you, there, I noticed there's a lot of rolling that nose back over. There is a lot of different sizes of weasels. I, uh, Probably wouldn't hurt to have a couple of them on each side, of each size. And I'm going to run my knife kind of down this weasel's tail. So far, so good. We have to open it up if we want to keep it. Right down to the tip. Alright. Let me grab some fur tacks here and when I know for a weasel I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the skirt is straight I'm not this is for myself so I'm not gonna worry about uh, there is a little trimming up here but I'm not I'm not gonna worry about uh, how what's the right phrase that uh, this isn't for sale this is just for me making sure that the hide and there's a little bit of a little bit of muscle right there so let me go in and just trim that and I'm just using my knife and kind of laying it flat and getting some of that fat off just a little bit they're a pretty lean animal I guess you could say I'm pushing the fat let me look there behind underneath the arms a little bit of uh, fat just a little bit of fat let's go ahead and see if we can't get some of that off i'm going to turn over to the flat side so i don't cut into it but just get a little bit of that extra fat off of him there we go there get a little bit more a 
got it same way with this other leg just get a little bit of that extra fat off I'm gonna leave the saddle on there we go got a little bit of that. I think that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, take the skirt of the weasel and let's just square it up a couple pins on each side will do it they're pretty thin skin so you ain't going to need to pull too much there we go and for right now I'm just going to put a single pin down here at the base of the tail and uh, hold the tail in place And on the leg side, we'll just pull them down straight and put a pin in each side. There we go. Make sure our legs are centered. I got a little bit of stuff I'm going to cut up off up here by the head. Not too much because that's basically the ear. That ain't too bad. There we go. I'll lean this guy up and uh, We'll let them uh, dry, and that's pretty much how I flush, stretch, and do a weasel. First one for me, folks, but I guarantee it's going to dry. It's going to be it's going to be fine. So, uh, and then I'll send this guy off to be tanned via memory, ha hanging up there in my shop for me. So, thanks for uh, hanging along, uh, having a lot of fun here on this trip so far. We've done Beaver, we've done um, uh, Martin Fisher. I have a big male fisher. I'm also going to show me uh, flesh uh, skin in that one too here in a little bit. So right now I'm going to get these two little Martin or these Martin finished or weasels finished, and we'll move on. So thanks for watching, folks. And uh, and by the way, just for the record, that pile of beaver there, John and I were able to get 32 of them on this trip. So not too bad for our for ourselves uh, <laughs> on this one. We'll have a closing. Uh, topic here uh, one of these uh, days and uh, I'm leaving in two but whether I do it here or do it in Kansas I've had a wonderful time so uh, stay with me stay watching and uh, we're gonna keep going here